Well, what always cheers me up is when Paula Grooms is on the on the. She's st- back. She's back, and I'm so glad you're here. The book is called "Why Won't He Commit?" And of course, you are a relationship and dating expert. Mm-hmm. And we spoke a couple of days ago about online dating and how the numbers are are up. And there's some interesting stats when it comes to whether or not these things really work out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, 49 million people have tried online dating or are currently online dating. Mm-hmm. It is where especially men are going to meet. It's a lot easier to meet online. Mm-hmm. And as you were talking about earlier, the, the DMing, mm-hmm. right? right? It's very easy for men to do because they're under the veil of like, we don't even see who it is, right? right? So online dating tends to be easier for men than it is for women. Women get much more frustrated with it than yeah. men do. I've never participated in online dating. I'm scared, I'm chicken ah. to do it. And so. many people are. <laughs> and the stats are that 45% of people are feeling frustrated, Okay. 35% are feeling pessimistic, and 25% feel insecure. And I think that is because there's no real formula, mm-hmm. right? And that's what I give women in my program mm-hmm. for online dating, is an absolute formula that it makes it easy and less frustrating for them. Okay. And do you think now in this world that we have, you know, I can go on a Facebook page or Instagram, mm-hmm. I can see everything about Amanda Tatum. I, I kind of know mm-hmm. where you go like to eat. I know, I know. Every, does it take the mystery out in the conversation? Because I feel like I already know her. So therefore, it's, it, it, it takes the con- c- communication out because I feel like, well, I, I can go online, I can already see what you're about. In some ways, in some ways it's, you know, and I always say, it's theoretically, it's a great place mm-hmm. to meet, right? Mm-hmm. To meet and know, feel like you know. Feel like you know. Feel like you know. Yeah. Because let's face it, that is just a, a, a one dimensional mm-hmm. sheet of paper that somebody has decided they want you to know. Absolutely. Right? I, I'm pretty open and authentic, but I'm not airing my dirty laundry. I mean, there are personal things that I don't discuss. Absolutely. And, and should sure. not be. Absolutely. And should not be. Mm-hmm. And a profile should be the best ad for you, mm-hmm. right? In a realistic sense, knowing yourself is very important, mm-hmm. right? And, and knowing realistically uh, what, what you can expect as well is, is important. Do you think these hookup sites has ruined it for the legitimate matchmaking type it's a, good, it's a good question because a lot of people, for example, a lot of the women that I work with say, well, you know, I won't do a Tinder, for example. Mm-hmm. That's one of them. And it's, you know, unfortunately now it's everyone is everywhere. Yeah. So there are particular hookup sites, but Tinder is now no longer just looked at yeah. as a hookup site because it's so widely experienced and readily available. Hmm. Interesting. You, you get both. And that's why I help women to understand from a man's point of view, right, and deal with the male mind in the dating. Well, let's get you a book real quickly. Mm-hmm. Why Won't He Commit? Why did you write that? Mm. Who was it intended for? <laughs> well, it's not intended for men. I'll pull up um, a chair and we'll just sit here for a while. You're right. right? Talk to Amanda. Yeah. 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 Um, it's intended for women, obviously, okay. because women are all about love, relationships, mm-hmm. connection. I call it my three C's of women and three C's of men. Mm-hmm. Women, we're cooperators, connectors, and caretakers of the world. Mm-hmm. Men, you're all about challenge, competition, and conquering. Mm. So those three, you know, when combined, Great, Mm -hmm. right? Yin and yang go together really well. But women, because we want relationships, we have to really be the mechanic of this relationship car Mm -hmm. and make it run well because a man just wants to get in it, it looks good, and you turn the key and it goes the Mm -hmm. distance, right? Without a lot of work involved. Yeah. I've got so many questions. I know. We, could, we could do like a three-part <laughs> episode on this. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have you back on later in the show. Great. We're going to talk about social media and how you deal mm-hmm. with people that might be sliding into your DMs and how to politely do that. And maybe what you need to do on your Facebook or Instagram profile page. Is it bad to have uh, your significant other lit- pictured? Or perhaps when do you Great. put that boyfriend or girlfriend mm-hmm. in your profile picture on social media as well? I know you've got some thoughts yeah. on that as well. Great. So stick around. Plus, when we come back after the break, I'm uh, visiting Body Hacks. Body Hack Labs. I know. It's insane. Looks like gonna, a challenge. It is a total challenge. We're going to go on this kind of multi-week challenge to get in shape. We'll do all of that when we come back. Stick around. <laughs> 